in Space Marine 2, there are two factions we can fight against. On one side, we have the Tyranids, and on the other, the Chaos Warrior, who are ridiculous overpowered. No matter who we face, we need a class capable of taking down bosses and heavy enemies quickly. This is where the tactical class comes in. With its special ability, it can make short work of felony enemies, even on the highest difficulty. But to do that, we need the right build, and that is sadly what I'm going to show you today. To kick off the build, in the first round of the core section, we have the ability Balanced Distribution, which gives us 10% more damage with the primary weapon at the cost of 10% less with the secondary. For the weapon we'll be using in this build, this is the only option that works. Next, we have Relentless Parsuit, which increases ranked damage by 25% for 5 seconds after performing a gun strike. There's no doubt here either, as this is the best of the three choices. Lastly, for the core section, will we take the third ability, because it's the only one that allows us to replenish ammo, as killing heavy enemies every 30 seconds will refile our magazine once. For the team ability, we will use Align Aim, which simply increases damage by 5% for all team members. Moving on to the gear section, we will start with the second perk, which doubles the duration of the ability in exchange for not affecting minor enemies. Since most minor enemies go down with a single hit even on the highest difficulty, this won't be an issue. We will follow up with the perk called Precise Calibration, which gives us 75% more damage at the cost of reducing the blast radius by 25%. This one is insanely powerful. To top off the build, we have an ability that gives us 100% more damage but shorten the mark duration by 4 seconds. Finally, in the signature section, we have the ability to kill a heavy with a single shot every 120 seconds. Now, let's move on to the weapons. For the primary weapon, we will be using the Melta rifle, which is basically like the multi melter, but with the disadvantage of needing to reload, which is already a big downside. For this reason, we will always go for the weapon with the most ammo. For the weapon perks, we have two options. The first is to go with all the top abilities, gaining ammo, damage and fire rate. However, the second option, which I found better, is to sacrifice fire rate in exchange for faster reload speed and quicker shield regeneration. For the secondary weapon, we will simply go with the one that has the most bullets, since most enemies will die from a single shot as long as they're not heavies or bosses. And for the pistol perks, we simply need to go with the bottom row, since the top one isn't worth it. For the melee weapon, we will always choose the one with defense fencing, as it's the best for parrying, blocking is much less effective. And finally, to wrap up the build, we have the melee weapons perks. We will take all the top ones, except for one, which we will swap for a 10% damage boost against Tyranids. The only real reason to use the melee weapon, aside from parrying, is to perform stomps. With the pair we have, enemies affected by this will deal less damage to us. You are nearing the 
vessel sight to lesser. Ensure nothing further impedes your progress. Four specs deep scan ready. Light in the darkest hours, brother. I am glad to have you at my side. You honor me, but such a virtue pales when compared to your tenacity. Nonsense. Good spirits inspire us all, and there are no finer in the company than yours. Then let us spread our cheer to the alien, the mutant, and the heretic. Recognize these symbols. They are by ancient man. We will report it to the Ordo Xenos. Continue with the mission. There are more pressing heresies that need our attention. Yes, Captain. We will not keep Lieutenant Titus waiting. Death for a betrayer. Brother. Take all you can carry. Look, a relic. If you would only remain static, you would be the perfect firing point. In our next battle, I shall take me. Would that be suitable? Wait, are you being serious? No. Captain Akaran, your ultramarines are late. We are under heavy attack and need reinforcements. We are on the final approach. Make haste, lest your tardiness into the harm of our blessed vessel. 